What's up guys welcome back to another video so today we're going to be going after some bull sharks but we're going to do that a little bit later on um, right now we are going to be going after this fish right here um, there was a guy in the game that was catching a bunch of them and he asked if anybody wanted to come fish with them and I said sure why not I have never caught one so I am using the setup he told me to use and we're just going to hang out here and see what happens and hopefully we can't hook on the one and then we will go out there some bull sharks here in a little bit. Oh, we just got doubled up, guys. This is something very tiny. Oh, it's a prana. All right, let's, get, let's grab rod uh, three here. Some, another small fish. Looks like another prana, and I'm getting hit again. That is a trophy prana. Oh man, this is like the fish we're after. Okay, there we go. Man, I switched over to 8 p.m. and I got nailed right away on all three rods. So this is going to be the fish we're targeting, I'm pretty sure. Looks like a big one. Oh yeah, what do we got here? So interesting, that is a young... And for being a young, that is actually pretty big. So I can only imagine what a trophy or unique, a unique would be. But man, nice looking fish. There we go, rod one, man. That thing just went straight under. And it looks like we have another one on. Oh, that looks like a nice one. Oh, wow, that looks like a monster. We are hooked up the rod two, and it looks like a piranha. Oh yeah, we got a good one on here, guys. So we're not going to worry about these other rods right now. I think we're hooked into a trophy on this uh, fish here. And it seems like they bite top water, or not top water, but it seems like they bite the float rod more than the, the bottom rod. Oh man, give me that tension back. So this is what I'm talking about here, guys. We got a big fish on. Look at the size of that thing in the water. We're going to get them worked in here and uh, see what we got. Hopefully, we can get them in here. All right, guys. We got them at about 50. He's starting to come in pretty easy now, but this fish looks really cool. It reminds me of a muskie and a pike, kind of, and also a, a bowfin in a way. Oh, yeah. We're working them in here. He's... Oh, get up here, buddy. This could be a unique, too. I'm not really sure. I seen him earlier caught. He caught a big 200 pounder of this fish here. All right, there we go. So check that out, guys. 197 pound trophy, man. And just to think, the uniques get even bigger. Look at the size of that fish. Let's hurry up and get a picture. We got a rod going off here. What rod is that? Three. This might be a prana. Oh, no, no, it's one of them. It's another one. We got another one on. So they do, they do bite the bottom rods, but like I was saying, it seems like they bite top, the float rod a little bit more. You get less piranhas and things like that, it seems like. I will show you guys where I am and what I'm using once I get this guy on land, and it seems like we have another nice one on here. Man, this is a fun spot to fish. Oh, yeah. We'll work this guy in, and then uh, I'll share the location with you guys in case you ever want to come here and give it a go. And it looks like we have another one on. I don't know if we're going to be able to get to him. We'll try. This could be another trophy here. It definitely seems like a monster. Man, look at the... Look how long that fish is, too, guys. Oh, yeah. Man, my line is... Oh, that's his line. I thought that was my line. I don't think we're going to get that other fish, guys, but we're going to work this guy in. I think we have another trophy on. Maybe even a unique. Who knows? Man. This is pretty fun. Now he's starting to come in, actually. There we go. Oh, 
yeah. Get up here, big fella. Oh, yeah. There we go. Wow, 166 pound trophy, and we are one fish away from leveling up. Man, such an awesome looking fish. There we go, right away, that bobber. Uh, looks like another piranha. That's the only downside is you do get some piranhas every now and again. Whoa. I think he just flung off the rod there. Holy cow. Anyways, guys, so I did forget to show you what I am using for bait. So we are using the banded Arc Aku Minnow. I don't, I don't know how you say that, but we're using that along with the number five barbless hook. So that is the setup we are using, and we're only really just tossing it out there at about 40, 50 feet, so not too far, maybe 60 feet, somewhere around there, but nonetheless, it's uh, it's paid off so far. Two nice trophies. Looks like another piranha. It is a trophy, though. That's a pretty cool looking fish. Hurry up and get this in the water. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Big fish, big fish. That's what we're after. There, that is what we are after. So I did, I did change it to another day. We have been catching piranhas, but I'm really not going to show that in the recording. We have caught trophies, but nothing special. Only like uh, two pound fish, but this looks like our third big one on here. We should be level 69 after landing this guy. Don't look as big as uh, the ones we've been catching, but still 90 pounds. That's actually a really big fish, and look at that. We are so close from leveling up. Another thing I did was I took my ocean rod and put some large cut bait on it and uh, just kind of experiment with it, seeing if anything bites it, but heck yeah. There's another one. God, I, I grabbed the wrong rod. I was throwing out the popper. Literally just threw it out there and got bit. And it looks like another one of the fish that we are after. I do have 12 baits left. Which this will probably be 11 after I if, I if I get this guy. So we'll probably stay here until the bait is gone. And then we'll go after some sharks. But this seems like I have another nice one on. Oh no, he's starting to get us wrapped around that tree. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, this guy's a nice size one. Man, look at him out there. He looks like a big old pig. Oh yeah. So I ended up moving over to the left a little bit. The guy that was here fishing with me ended up leaving. But uh, we're going to work this guy in and see what we got. Man, I can barely move this guy. This might be unique. See, man, he was out there at about 100 for the longest time. I did have a piranha on the bobber rod. I seen him jump out of the water, but man, this looks like the fish of the day so far. Looks so massive. Ah, get up here. I'm assuming it's a trophy. Maybe unique. Who knows? Man, I can't even budge this fish, guys. I'm using an 88 pound rod. Ah, get up here. There we go, got him. 183 pounds, nice. And we are level 69. We just unlocked these minnows, actually, that we're using. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, wait. This is the, the huge cut bait. What have we got on the huge cut bait? Interesting. I didn't think I was going to catch anything off this. Oh, don't tell me it's a piranha on the huge cut bait. It is a piranha. Oh, wow, it's a unique prana, too. Wow, nice. That's actually a really big prana, almost five pounds. Man. That's amazing. There's a good one on the ocean rod. He's going to come in pretty easy, though. 
we got here a 53 pounder rod three another one there we go nice so we hooked up back to back on these fish so yeah i decided to use the ocean rod uh with with this bait on here so i figured it'd increase our chances i do have three bottom rods but i didn't bring my other one so that's why we're using the float rod this one looks about average uh, size 62 pounder we'll take it though man these things are really fun to catch all right guys so we ended up running out of bait um, so what I'm gonna do now is go for sharks we're gonna try it top water maybe some lures and then uh, I'm gonna try using a bottom rod with just kind of holding it in my hand and just well I don't know we'll just kind of experiment with it and see what happens so Let's head over there, start a new day, and hook on to some bull sharks. There's a sh there's one right off the bat. Oh man. He like come to the top of the water there and kind of froze for a minute. Oh yeah, looks like a good one we got on here to start things off with the bull sharks. I did decide to keep it at this time because normally I start fishing for these at 8 p.m. and it's already 7.30 so we just uh, decided to, to stick with the same day. There we got him. Nice, 173 pound uh, young bull shark. There's one. Fish on. So I'm using the three-way rig setup with the glow-in-the-dark shad. And we got hooked into a seemingly good one here. I don't know if this is a shark. It could be a catfish. There's always that possibility. But whatever it is, it's definitely big. Oh, yeah, it is. What do we got here? I don't know what that black cloud thing is right there, but... What do we got here? I'm really curious. I haven't even seen it yet, which is unusual. Oh no. We could have a trophy on here, guys. I don't know. I haven't even got eyes on this thing yet. He's taking us for a ride, too. Hang on. Oh god. Oh man, no. To turn my tension down. This has to be a trophy shark, guys. I've never had a fight like this yet. Come on, baby. I haven't even seen this fish yet, though. That's the crazy part. Oh, man. That scared me when my line started to go red there, so I did turn my drag down one. Yeah, we got a big shark, I think, on here, guys. I just can't believe... Oh, yeah, yeah, big shark. Wow, 283 pounds. That was a, a normal shark, but man, what a fight. $36,000 for that fish, too. Wow. I mean, look at the size of that thing. I 100% I thought that was a trophy, but... Nonetheless, that is the personal best. There's one. Oh, yeah. Again, I don't know what that black shadow is there. I don't know if that's like a visual effect for like the clouds or something, but... No, oh, okay, it's a, a catfish. 109 pounder. Not bad. You know, it makes me wonder if that personal best shark fought the way it did I can only imagine how a trophy shark is going to fight oh there's one right there speaking of trophy could this be a trophy oh yeah we got a good one on here I think 
I'm gonna leave my drag turned down the way it is. Yeah, looks like another good one on here. We're having trouble getting them to the surface. That's a good sign. There we go. Oh, that's a young. But we'll definitely take a shark. There's one. Oh yeah. Looks like a looks like a catfish there for a second actually. They do bite this shad, as we've seen earlier. I think I caught one earlier with this thing. Here we get that seem like a doesn't seem like a big one, but it is a fish. Well, now he's starting to fight us quite a bit. Oh yeah, we got a nice one on here, I think, actually. I guess I do say that about every fish, but this one is fighting us pretty good, though. Oh, he's trying to get behind a boat. That ain't good. Man. Could be a trophy, maybe. There we go. We got him. Nope, only 121 pounder. Interesting. Oh, we got a good one on here, actually. I gotta stop saying that. I always say that. He's fighting us somewhat decent here. Now it's a catfish. Could be a trophy. You would take that. That's the only problem with using the shad is you, you catch a, a good bit of catfish at the same time as uh, sharks, but... Whenever you can hook onto a nice 144 pound trophy, it makes it kind of worth it. Nice. Whoa, there's a fish right there. I was just getting ready to move. And check that out, a 31 pound unique. That's the biggest one of uh, the Cerebium, whatever you call it. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. That's a nice one. That's an awesome looking fish too. Check that out. There we go. I did switch back over to float. Kind of mix it up. And I would assume it's a shark. It seems like every time I use large cut bait with the number 10 barbless, that's all I catch, which is a good thing. Come on up here. Yep, I can see him way down there. Man, he's fighting us really good here. There we go. That is a 168 pound young. 9100. Not too bad. There's one. I don't know what the heck that is. Huh, check that out. I was using the swim bait and caught a trophy Bakuda. That looks like that makes for some good bait. That's a man, that's a tiny little guy in it. But it is a trophy. Cool. Alright guys, so that's gonna be it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh unfortunately we did not catch a trophy bull shark, but we did catch a couple nice trophies and some other fish uh species. But uh, one of these days, I'm going to come out with a video when I just strictly go after bull sharks only. And, uh, yeah, we'll just see if we can't hook onto a trophy. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.